pretty easy to agree that having Crohn's really sucks. On a day-to-day -day basis, you have to worry about all sorts of things, like what you can and can't eat, your bathroom needs, how you're going to feel, and are you going to get through the day without having an issue. Here are five things to keep in mind in order to keep you sane while you have Crohn's. On a day-to-day -day basis, you have to change your behavior, what you can and can't eat. Um, sometimes you have to randomly excuse yourself, either from a class or from hanging out with friends or you're, you're doing work and, and you got, have to excuse yourself. So being open with the people who you're around when those things might come up about your Crohn's is really important so that they don't feel like you're trying to avoid them or you're just dodging a, um, an event or anything like that. You want to really be transparent with them so that they're like, oh, it's just Crohn's, it's whatever. It's like when people have diabetes, they have to duck out before they eat food, check their, bl their blood glucose, and then they'll come back and eat. And it's the same thing, and as a result, I don't think that anybody should really have to stress about it, but it's something to keep in mind. So the second thing to keep you sane when you have Crohn's is to have somebody close to you that you can share everything with. It might be a significant other, it might be a really close friend, it might be one of those family members that you really connect with. Um, it just might be a, a guidance counselor or some kind of mentor. Any of those can really keep you sane in that you can be 100% transparent. Not like all your other friends that you can just, oh, I have Crohn's disease, whatever, but you really transparently tell them everything that's going on. So the third thing is to have a hobby that consumes a lot of your free time. Having a hobby that consumes a lot of your free time will sometimes take your mind off of when you're in an uncomfortable situation, but also it gives you kind of a motivation. It fills your time so you're not just putzing around on Netflix, YouTube, just using time wasters um, when you're not doing something that's technically important. So you actually make something that's important. And that leads directly into the third thing, because for me, one of the hobbies I have is weightlifting and rock climbing. And so those two things really keep me sane. Um, they allow me to have like a physical exploit, which is what the fourth thing is, is have something that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that's physical, um, and that will take some of your time. So not just going to the gym and, and consume your time that way, but like enjoy what you're doing. For me, it happens to be the gym um, and lifting and rock climbing, but for other people, going to the gym is just getting it done, but maybe you, you pick up basketball, you pick up um, just some kind of sport, pick up sport, anything that um, you really enjoy, and then it, this task should also be somewhat physically demanding so that you get some exercise. Now, getting the proper amount of daily exercise will definitely help keep you sane. And lastly, this is the most important thing, is really enjoy life. So on a day-to-day -day basis, you're going to struggle, you're going to have ups and downs, and as a result, you really have to take every moment and enjoy it. So you might not enjoy the moment where you're doing homework, or you're studying, or you're doing your, your job, your 9 to 5 job, and it might be grueling, but you have to find little points in that time that you actually do enjoy and, and you appreciate. And so that'll help you get through the tough points when you open yourself to appreciate um, even times that you really shouldn't technically be enjoying, like struggling through a hard assignment or um, doing something you really don't enjoy, but find little points that you do enjoy and that'll help you get through points in time that you're not doing something you technically don't enjoy. You might be watching Netflix, but you're in excruciating pain, but you have to find the ability to enjoy despite adversity. Also, try to live life on the edge. It definitely helps to get a little bit of exhilaration every once in a while. So do something a little bit risky, dangerous. Um, it definitely keeps you uh, enjoying and living life to its fullest. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It'll definitely help out building this channel into what it really should be. Thank you.